That's good. <laughs> have you ever gone skinny dipping? Yes. You have? When? Today I'm going to be making Nigerian beef stew. Actually, it's going to be beef and chicken. And I'm also going to be making El Florero. We're going to start with the beef stew. I'm going to be putting top sirloin steak and chicken wings. For the base, we're going to use bell pepper, onion, tomato, garlic, ginger, and then I'm going to add in some celery and carrots to the stew as well. The seasonings we're going to be using black pepper, salt, thyme, curry powder, and bay leaves. And we're going to use some peppers. I'm not sure what kind because my boo went to the store to get them for me. So it's either going to be habanero or serrano peppers because sadly we don't have scotch bonnet in our area. Okay, so let's make it y'all. So I'm going to start off seasoning the meats. I'm going to do some garlic salt, black pepper. You don't have to do a heavy seasoning because the stew is going to be well seasoned and it's going to give it some more flavor later. Just a little bit of thyme and some curry powder. I already added some oil to my pan and I'm going to get this as hot as I possibly can because I want to sear my meats very fast. I'll throw the chicken in. Not gonna clean the pan out at all. Let all them beef juices get right on the chicken. Both meats are not all the way cooked. That's how you want it. Cause it's gonna cook for hours in the soup. Okay, so I added about three fourths cup of oil to this saucepan. It's on high right now, so we can fry the onion. We're gonna fry these for about five minutes. Then to a blender, you're gonna add your bell pepper. I have three red bell peppers, one habanero, two cloves of garlic, and then a couple pieces of ginger. A 28 ounce a can of crushed tomatoes. Then we're gonna blend that up. You don't want it too thin and it shouldn't take much to get it blended pretty quickly to this texture. After frying the onions for about five minutes, you're gonna add the tomato and bell pepper mixture to that. These are my seasonings. I have a teaspoon of curry powder, chicken bouillon, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and two teaspoons of beef bouillon. Gonna add in some celery and carrots. I'm only adding this because I, I personally want some vegetables in mine, but you don't have to add it. Adding in a couple of sprigs of thyme, bay leaf, and I'm gonna add my beef in right now. We're gonna keep cook the beef for about an hour and then add the chicken. Babe, yeah. can you close the door? Thank you. Okay, I know how to put open. Okay. Oh, that one. I'm about to start recording again. Y'all. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna make the ba base for the E4 Rero. Very similar to the stew base. Two tomatoes, a green bell pepper, half of an onion, and half of a habanero. Blend that up. Next, you're gonna add a half a cup of oil to a skillet. I'm gonna fry half of a red onion for about three minutes. Okay, now you wanna add your seasonings. Two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of black pepper. They want me to do two teaspoons of ground crayfish, but all I had was ground sardines. So I'm gonna use one teaspoon of ground sardines, and I'm gonna also add some chopped up shrimp. One time I didn't have any ground seafood, so I used all shrimp, and I really loved the texture of the shrimp in the Ethel re -roll, so that that would be a great idea. Add salt to your taste, you guys. I'm gonna add my salt in later. Let this cook for a few minutes. Add in your tomato blend. That flavor is so good already, y'all. Oh my God. To me, it doesn't even need any salt at all yet, but once I add in the other stuff, I'm gonna check again. Now they, uh, they're saying add in a fourth of a cup of water. I don't really feel like it needs it, so I'm not gonna add that in. I'm add in my two cups of mushrooms. 
See, there's so much water being released from the mushrooms, so I really don't think you need that fourth cup of water. Now I'm gonna add in the spinach. Now you just cook it to whatever texture you want and you are done. Stir it all up, add some salt if you want. That's it guys, let's eat. It's good or you want coffee? Bring it a little closer. Yeah, it's good. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out some of the content. If you like it, please subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Steph Loves Love, y'all. Today, I'm doing some homemade African food, Nigerian to be specific. You know, this is from my home town here. You know that. Okay. My boo's here. She's gonna taste African food for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel? Excited. There you are. Okay. And we also, I got some hand picked questions for us too. Uh oh. You ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm back. So y'all just finished seeing me cook. I didn't tell y'all I was going to do that, but I did. So y'all saw how I made all this. I actually also made some jollof rice and it came out horribly. So I threw that away. Okay. So we have beef stew. And eat F O R E R O, pounded yam, aka fufu. This actually was purchased because I do not know how to make fufu at all. So yeah, we got that. We got her a little plate over there. So this babe is to me it tastes like a uh, mashed potatoes, but kind of thicker. They use this as kind of like a bread to like sop it up. So it's like they eat with their hands. I mean we because I'm Nigerian. I'm okay, so I'm like 80 something percent African and most of it, it comes from Nigeria y'all so you have this made by a native But I don't live there <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> Okay, you got Nigerian food made by a Nigerian So this is what you do. So you open this up. You just basically like Peel open the um, it's probably how to tell peel open the top okay. And then boom so remember, this is like bread. It is, it's like a um, mashed potato, but it's not like seasoned. Like, you know how we season it up? It's not like that because you're using it. I mean, you're getting the seasoning from all the other dishes. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. Babe, what do you, why you can't wipe your hands off? They're you, you just use it. Oh, God. You just, no forks. We're I gonna eat this the way we did do it in Africa, right. okay? So you take a piece. Well, let's just go for the sauce first. So I have beef and chicken here, but we're gonna go for the sauce. So you take a little piece, dip it in the sauce, get a good amount of sauce on there, and that's good. <laughs> that's really no, good. I can't do this yet, but they literally just take it off. Swipe it up and swallow. That's how they eat it. They don't chew? I don't do that. Mm. I kind of like suck it down. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I suck it down and let it glide down my wet throat. Mm. <laughs> okay? So you use this anytime you want to pick up something. What so what are we going to do? Those, that's finished, but we ain't going to talk about that. Oh, We're going to act like okay. it's not. Okay. okay, look. So this is what you want to do. Take a, get a little piece. Have an open mind because it's gonna taste a little different. I know you hate spinach in the soggy this. You got wet. You got too much. Too much spinach. It's fine. I you got too much everything, but that's fine. All right. You ready? You can be honest. If you hate it, just say it. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's seasoned really good. Okay. <laughs> the little puff thing took away the texture. Oh, the puff. <laughs> Boo -boo. Fufu? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fufu took away the texture of the spinach so it wasn't bad. Taste some of the beef. So look at this y'all. I cooked it for about three and a half hours. The shit's still hot. But it's tender as fuck. Oh, it's tender as hell. I can't even grab grab the piece on here no more. You eat the beef look with the fufu too? Yeah, you can you can eat it with it or without, without whatever you want. Mmm. This is one of my favorite exotic meals to eat. That's good. 
<laughs> she likes it, y'all. I was nervous. Baby, you don't have to lie. You know I won't lie. Like okay. <laughs> you say you don't like it. It's fine. She like it, y'all. I think. I don't know if she's trying to be nice with the video or what. No, yeah, it's really good. Whew. Is it hot as luck? Yes. Mine is hot as hell. Mm. What is the stew called again? It's just beef stew. Um, it's the base is mainly uh tomato and bell pepper. There's some other stuff in here too, a lot of curry powder. Mm. I love it, y'all. Yeah, this is good. Mm. I threw some carrots in there. Celery. What else do y'all put in there? Especially if you're Nigerian. Let me know what else. I know you guys put seafood. I think I did that the first time and it was really good. Y'all put like uh, some kind of fish in it. Mm -hmm. Babe. Stop wiping the hands off. We eating like we did in Africa. Yeah, but I don't like stuff on my fingers. You gotta learn how to eat. Look, eating with your hands is the best way you can eat. <laughs> Let them get messy, it's fine. I wanna pick my fork up so bad. Alright, you can use the fork back. No, I'm gonna <laughs> enjoy the fork. I don't want experience. you to not enjoy it because you hate how you're eating it. This sauce is really good. She like it, y'all. She like it. Did you try the chicken yet? This chicken? Well, I can't even hold this. Did I give you a piece of chicken? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. My chicken is so hot, I can't even hold it yet. Oh, it's too hot. <laughs> but it's getting ready. It's ready to fall off, y'all. Ready to fall off. Oh, my God. Look at that. That shit barely hanging out. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Oh, I got a little piece that already fell off good. So, I also got some questions for us. We'll get into that in a minute, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna just pour some I'm so happy that you're <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Do that shit. And now you gotta eat it with sauce and the fufu? No, they they pick it out. I'm sure somebody does that shit. Why not? Let me come with a new way. Mm. I'm gonna try not to eat too much of the fufu because that should be getting you stuffed. And also, I'm trying to turn up. So I need the liquor to hit. Ain't nobody got time. Uh huh. <laughs> mm. For all the people that hate my bun, <laughs> I have a new hairstyle. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, thank you, baby. Mm. I really want to eat a piece of chicken, but the mother do that now. Okay. Now that it's not hot no more, it just all it fell. <laughs> <laughs> It's gone, yeah. We'll try it. Mm. Mm. They also eat like lamb. No, they eat goat. I don't know if they eat lamb. I don't know if they eat lamb a lot in, in Nigeria or not, y'all. Let me know. I feel like it's goat. You ever had goat? No. <laughs> Are you gonna make that next? Well, you know what? They don't sell goat out here like that, y'all. <laughs> so, I, I know you're thankful that I can't make that. <laughs> Cooking a goddamn dilly goat. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen somebody, um... I saw somebody walking a goat. What? Like, out here, walking a goat with a the leash and everything. <laughs> I was like, y'all out of control. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> I just knew you were gonna be like, nah, this ain't, this is gonna be one that's not for me. Mm -mm. The sauce is really good and flavorful. Does it taste like anything you've ever tasted? No. Here, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll taste some. <laughs> mm. Mm. Who else is super into the Olympics right now? Like, it took everything in me to stop watching to do this. <laughs> we were so I've been thinking game. about watching Simone the whole time. I heard she killed it too. I cannot wait. 
they uh, said that she did the, the move she had named after herself. Mm -hmm. Killed it. Oh. Y'all have like. I need some more meat. Yeah, you whatever you want. I didn't put a lot because I was like, she might not like this. <sighs> she looks good. She likes y'all. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get into some of the questions. So when she gets more meat. Which what are you getting? The uh, you like the beef? I like both. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is really good too. I'm so excited. Mm. Oh. oh shit. Oh, is it, is it still on? You can turn it off. That shit over there popping her. <laughs> you make the sauce so good, you can just eat the sauce. Yeah, you know? Mm-hmm. Mama love that. Y'all saw how I got that chicken off there? That shit slid right into my mouth. Mm. <laughs> Whew, I can't get too full, y'all. We need the vodka to hit. Okay? <laughs> I'm about to get into these questions and move this food food aside. Because <laughs> if you eat, if you eat a lot of this, y'all has to be sleep. Yeah. You need some foo foo. <laughs> she don't be sleeping, y'all. Like uh, if you eat, ate a nice little bowl of this with the foo foo, oh my god, knocked out. It's like known for that. <clears throat> to put you to sleep. Mm-hmm. You'll be giving me foo foo once a week. I ain't giving you. I don't need you to stay up. <laughs> I ain't trying to put you to sleep. Just play. That's why. <laughs> mm, what mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I wish I could see. <laughs> you say you made some rice sauce. You good with some rice? You yeah, it? but the rice didn't come out good. It didn't. I messed the jollof rice up, y'all. What's wrong with it? I just hated how it tasted. I tried a new recipe because I didn't save my last one and it I didn't like it. Mm -mm. But the texture? It didn't come out good. No, the flavor. Uh, Alright, let's get into these questions, you guys. You're so excited about these questions. I sure am. <laughs> I need to know. Mm. No, I'm just playing. No, it's, they're not crazy. Okay, see, this is easy. Is there anything you're allergic to? Um, not allergic, but if I use like scented lotion, it makes me itch. Okay, so you probably a little allergic. Yeah. Sometimes there there are some like um, beauty products, I guess, especially like facial things that will mess me up. So that's why when I buy something cool, I'll just stick with that. And but I don't have a lot of pro problems with allergies, which is cool. If you're on death row, what would you want as your final meal? Your tacos and your pasta. Oh, me? <laughs> yes. Out of everything in your life, my stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, How I do. <laughs> <laughs> The tacos are I gotta make you some now you made you some tacos since then. Huh? I'm sorry. Well, I ain't gonna be so basic and I eat this shit all the time. But I want the, the top pizza ever in life. Like one slice. French fries. <laughs> I'm such a baby. <laughs> French fries, pasta, a good one good chicken wing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Have you ever gotten into an argument on social media? Um, no, but I was like Hitting certain dudes up in the NBA trolling them just to see if they respond and he did. They did? Mm hmm You were crazy. <laughs> Iman Shumper, he got mad. <laughs> Why was you fucking with him? <laughs> he said something. I was like, let me fuck with him. But I was bored. Oh, okay. On to, I probably have, actually. I can't remember who it was. It wasn't that serious. Like, it probably was just something I responded to, to one of the trolls commenting. Mm. But it was, you were immemorable, sweetheart. <laughs> like... But yeah, I'm sure I have little arguments. Stuff that didn't really mean anything to me though. I haven't gotten into like anything real personal. If you could give one of your friends a makeover, who would it be? Oh. <laughs> one of my friends. I think I would choose. It's not a friend. It's my cousin. One of my cousins. I don't even want to say her name, but I feel like you are a beautiful lady. But you need some help. I do too. I give my if I can give myself a makeover, I would do that. But I had to do somebody else. So it's you. <laughs> she like nobody they all fine really <laughs> yo you can't pick nobody i don't know anybody else. none of your friends need to make over because they all fine okay whatever no i'm just saying like, yeah. i don't want to be looking at people like oh you need to make over yeah right <laughs> all her friends are fine y'all <laughs> you crazy <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gone skinny dipping yes you have when before i met you oh <laughs> i wouldn't do that 
I don't know if I went butt naked. I'm probably, I feel like I have, but I can't remember the time. I definitely went almost, maybe just like with bottoms on and heels. Mm -hmm. And heels? <laughs> and heels. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was kind of hot. But anyway, I don't think I did, I did the whole thing yet. Nasty. <laughs> you say I'm the nasty one. Mm -mm. You are. <laughs> you definitely are. <laughs>